You hear the screams from the crowd who have made their way from Arkansas across the mighty Mississippi here to Memphis to watch their guy who enters into the arena. Wade the Hammer Johnson from Cabot, Arkansas and Club Barada, one of the top 155 pounders in the state of Arkansas. This guy is bad. 16 and 0, knockout artist. Watch him come out. The gate's swinging. He's got a tough fight, though, Greg. He'll be taking on Adam Glenn, who we've seen a number of times on V3 fights. This is the debut on V3 for Wade Johnson. They lather him up, put a little Vaseline on his face, get him ready to go. As you mentioned, Rick, 16-0 and, and just 21 years of age. They start him early over there in Arkansas, I guess. <laughs> the hammer, Wade Johnson. How about this music? I love more this your, song. More, more your style, right? Yeah, yeah. A little laid back. And what, what was that movie? Brother, We're Out Now? Yes. That, yeah, great movie. And there is Wade, a couple of laps around the cage. And now we switch the music, Mr. DJ. Let's hear what Adam Glenn has to introduce him musical-wise. Adam Glenn from Clarksville, Tennessee, and Club Wildside. And if I'm not mistaken here, Rick, Adam got a haircut. Adam definitely got a haircut. He looks mean and lean. Absolute you know, warrior this guy is. Oh my God, he doesn't quit. His last fight was against Bobby Aller, who was also a top 155 pound fighter or 170 pound fighter out of Arkansas. And Adam KO'd him. Yeah, he came from behind to win that one. We had that fight as he knocked out uh, Rob, uh, Bobby Aller. His only V3 loss was to Tony Way. That's not too bad. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape, starting with Wade Johnson, 6'2", 156 pounds is what he weighed in yesterday officially. Perfect 16-0 at 21 years of age. Kickboxer, jiu-jitsu, and he'll be wearing the blue and white trunks. Meanwhile, for Adam Glenn, 5'10", so he gives up a few inches to Wade Johnson. 156 pounds, he's 18 and 10, so a veteran of 28 fights. Hails from Clarksville, Tennessee, as I mentioned. A Jedi, Tai Chi, frontliner, he calls himself. We see Brawler, it's all of that for Adam Glenn. And he's got the gray and the black and the red and the camouflage, it's all mixed into one. Adam Glenn, Wade Johnson, let's get the formal introductions with our own Mr. Excitement, Michael Kelly. B3 Legion, this fight is brought to you by Inked, and it's set for three three-minute rounds in the lightweight division. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, the third man in the cage will be Omar Sutton. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He wears the blue trunks with the white trim. At six feet two inches, he weighed in at 155 pounds. A kickboxer with a perfect MMA record of four wins and no losses. Representing Barada MMA and fighting out of Cabot, Arkansas, Wade the Hammer Johnson. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner. He wears the gray trunks with a black trim. At 5 feet 10 inches, he weighed in at 156 pounds. A frontline fighter with an MMA record of 18 wins and 10 losses. Representing Wildside and fighting out of Clarksville, Tennessee, Adam Glenn. Hey, you're both back for the fighters meeting. Obey my trucks at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, come out banging. And Omar Sutton giving the final instructions to our two fighters. Uh, I should correct myself. 14-0, as the tail of the tape was correct. I said 16-0. But either way, Wade Johnson, the hammer is unbeaten. He wants to stay that way tonight against Adam Glenn. Round one, here we go in the lightweight division, scheduled for three rounds. Wow. Big he right hits. right off the bat by Johnson, who sends Glenn right into the cage, the side of the cage in front of us. I'll tell you what. He's got pinpoint accuracy. He hit Adam on the button two straight times. Adam didn't know what came out of him. Well, Glenn threw the first punch, and then Johnson tagged him with two. Nice oh, uppercut up. by Johnson. It's, he's going down. And he does go down. And John, Glenn, unable to protect himself here, 
trying to get his arms up. This may end real quick. Uh, Boy, Glenn somehow got out of that. He's not out of the woods yet. No, he's not. Wade Johnson pushing his head down, and Adam Glenn turned his back, and Adam Glenn gets a little takedown. But again, the hammer strikes continue from Wade Johnson. Boy, Wade looks impressive. Very impressive. Glenn somehow survived that first flurry. I didn't think it was going to happen. And Glenn's on top now. Oh, great. <laughs> what a sweep. He just strained a leg out, and Adam went straight over. Oh, another big right. There goes a second and a third. He's hammering away. This one Omar is gonna it's stop gonna this end soon. soon. It's over. It's over. It's over. Wow. Adam Glenn got beat up and he's gonna get a look see from Dr. Jonathan Brody. Oh yeah. Well, let's let's talk first about Wade Johnson. How impressive was that? That was absolutely impressive. He came out and threw a left-right combination and both hit. Adam Glenn had no idea what happened. And he, yeah, Adam Glenn went down. Went now, down. Now let's let's talk on the flip side about Adam Glenn. We're used to seeing this from Adam Glenn. Well, yeah, we're used to seeing that. We're used to seeing Adam Glenn weathering any storm. It just kept coming and coming and coming and he couldn't regain any composure. And look at Johnson posing for pictures with his team. 15-0 now, 15-0, and Adam Glenn, boy, that was a quick, quick flurry that took out Mr. Glenn, who falls to 18-11. and 11. Again, great sportsmanship between these two. I don't think Adam Glenn knew what hit him. Absolutely not. Right out of the gate, he got tagged and just kept getting tagged. Never could recover. Early first round TKO for Wade Johnson. Let's get the official time from Michael Kelly. Ladies and gentlemen, here in the V3 cage at Minglewood Hall, we present the official time of one minute, six seconds in a round number one. Referee Omar Sutton calls a halt to the bout due to strikes, declaring your winner by TKO victory and staying undefeated, Wade the Hammer Johnson. That is what you call an impressive debut on V3 fights. Wade Johnson now with our own Rick McCracken. Your winner, Wade Johnson. 155ers, beware. Where, where the hell did you come from, man? Small town Bradford. <laughs> is that all you guys do there is fight? Jeez. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> man, you hit him with the flurry, and he did not know what was going on. We thought you had him knocked out right there. Did you? Is that what you thought? I knew I hit him pretty good. I knew he was probably bothered a little bit, so I kind of I knew to stay on him and uh, stayed on him and can finish him. Honestly, it looked like his chin was made of metal and your gloves had magnets in them. Every hit was smacking him. <laughs> uh, I knew the guy had a real tough chin. I knew that coming in, nobody's finished him. I wanted to be the first. Well, you're the first one to finish him. You're 17-0 and 0 now, unbelievable. Hopefully you come back and fight again. Is that the plan? Yes, sir. Uh, V3 puts on an awesome show, the best one I've ever fought on before. This is an awesome place. I want to thank my family coming out supporting me. And I want to thank my gym, Willie McLaughlin, Broad MMA, and for helping push me through this. All right, everybody, one more time. Wade Johnson, expect big things. Well, Rick couldn't have said it any better. Just 21 years of age. Remember the name, folks. Wade the Hammer Johnson.